I'm a research associate here at the Center for Renewable Carbon. Uh, we are in the Bioenergy Science and Technology Unit, and here we focus on the best optimization for uh, usage of biomass, for instance, for the biofuels industry or for value co products. In this lab, we focus on biomass conversion processes as well as pre treatment, so we'll be able to use that source of biomass. So this experiment is dealing with switchgrass as a potential biomass source uh, in the biofuels industry. Uh, what we know about lignocellulosic biomass is that if, uh, there's a challenge with choosing the correct pretreatment process. And one of the things we do here in this lab is look at alternative or more green pretreatment processes. Um, in this case, we've used an alternative called ionic liquid, um, which we have solubilized biomass, in this case switchgrass, inside of the ionic liquid for uh, a determined period of time, and we are studying what effect that pretreatment has on the biomass itself, or if it makes it easier for us to be able to produce ethanol from it. So in this case, this is a reactor that we have going. So the liquid inside is a buffer solution, and I have um, already pretreated this biomass, or the switchgrass in ionic liquid, and I have done, I've added some enzymes to it to see if I can hydrolyze it. So we're doing a comparative study to see which pretreatment process would work better, a traditional process or this new ionic liquid that we're using. So this will go on for a period of several days and we'll test the sugars that are released and then we can use that to estimate how much ethanol that we could extract from the plant. See it uh, and I work for uh, Dr. Nicole Labbe at the Center for uh, Renewable Carbon. Actually, my work is pretty much on uh, biomass uh, monitoring uh, and uh, using switchgrass. Actually, it, this project involves um, monitoring of the chemical composition of uh, uh, switchgrass, which has it's been uh, found that it's been a very good feedstock for bioenergy. So what I'm doing is to study the chemical properties, including the structural properties, to determine it, yeah, prop, its properties with time. And we are doing this project for a period of three years. So I'm studying the first year, second year, and third year, and all of them to track the constituents of sweetgrass, which get into the biorefinery for production of bioethanol. And what are you doing today? Actually, what I'm doing today is one part of the components of uh, uh, the switchgrass, which is the, uh, the extractives, is what I'm actually analyzing. So I'm preparing what we call a standard solution to prepare a standard calibration curve to determine the constituents of the extracts that I'm going to work on. But to digress a little bit, when you have a lignocellulosic material, that there are three main components. We have first, we have the cellulose, we have the hemicellulose, and we have lignin. The extractive is a minor component. That is what I'm working on. And we have what we call inorganics, or the ash content, because it contains the metals that are in the plant. And we also have what we call uh, free sugars, which sometimes comes along with the extractive. So I'm going to do all these kind of analysis. Yeah, I didn't mention the protein because we haven't actually looked at that yet to determine the, that part of it. So are you a year into the three year program? Actually, uh, I began August and uh, I'm looking forward to <laughs> getting there. So, um, pretty much about six, seven months into the program. In this part of the lab, we have our suite of analytical instrumentation. Um, we like to look into the characterization of the biomass, that is to be able to tell us how much cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin, and other components we have in our biomass sources. So we can use this instrumentation to help us figure out those numbers. That will help us to optimize which biomass source is going to be the best in terms of production of ethanol or other valuable co-products.
this where all the switchgrass comes in? Yes. This is our receiving area. So all of our samples are brought in here. Such as this large bale of switchgrass. 